Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woking. I'm back with another Marvel Snap video here with a very special kind of deck that, of course, I can't reach because this one moment. Pause. Pause. Alright, all right, there we go. The beta's a little bit funky on the Steam version, so when you try and go for here for a full screen, I don't know, I had to unminimize it and stuff like that to select it, but whatever. We're here, we're here with a very special deck. So, on uh, Twitter, I saw D Free and uh, Zen started having an argument, and it was specifically over who was better, Jessica Jones or Rescue. It started as Zen saying, hey, I got Rescue, I have points for this. And then D Free was basically going, Meg, man, she's super niche. And then I came in and said, well, she's basically just Jessica Jones. And he says, that's not true. She's basically more just Hawkeye. Which, to be fair, Hawkeye does have the same effect. The difference is, is that you actually use Rescue more than more similar to Jessica Jones, where she's late game and she's actually a threat, as opposed to Hawkeye, who is turn one and doesn't cont contend the board in any significant way. A 1-3 on turn two. Who cares? But anyway, here's the deck. Uh, I did this originally as a C to see who was better. So this is the, its original name was Jessica Jones versus Rescue. And then I started winning a bunch. So now it's called, why is this winning? So here's the basic deck. Um, Okaye, Iron Hearts, Black Panther, and Nakia are all here because of the current event going on. Uh, if it wasn't for the event, I would probably remove Iron Hearts and maybe Okaye. Definitely Black Panther. Um, though he do he doesn't he just doesn't see very much use, so it'd probably be better to have a, a, like one or two drops <laughs> better than him. But because of the event going on, I decided to make myself better. But anyway, Okaye she gives plus one to every card in the deck. You want to play her as soon as possible. This entire deck is based around just one power. The more power you have, the better, because this has a plus four power and rescue has a plus five power. So then, if you have them with Okaya's effect, this effectively turns into a 10 and this turns into a 9, which is very nice. It's usually enough to win you the games in a lot of cases. It's also why Black Panther is here, because sometimes an 8 will just win you the game. We have Scorpion, because Scorpion is like better Okaye. Uh, I don't know how it happened, but, okay. <laughs> but Scorpion gives minus one to every card in your opponent's hand. I feel, depending on the person uh, and depending on the deck, this is devastating. If it's a deck that values high power, it's not going to do any. If it's an infinite deck, then Scorpion doesn't really do much. But if it's a combo-heavy deck, a lot of those decks have um, not the, the greatest amount of power, so actually giving minus one can really hurt them. Um, it also completely kills the Cerebro deck as well, if you see someone running that, if you want to ruin their day. Ironheart, she gives plus two, is occasionally useful. Nakia, it really kind of depends on how good your hand is, but she can be very useful with giving plus two. You want to give it to Rescue or Jessica Jones or Spider-Man or Captain Marvel. Those are your basics. Storm, this is here to help kind of set up the lanes. You want to really have control of the board in many multiple instances. So Storm can make it very easy for you to kind of like cut your opponent off very quickly. This deck also doesn't have any answer to uh wong so you kind of use storm and spider-man as a aka we're just gonna kind of stop wong because it stops them from doing the big ten turn six play which is usually where most things set up like example wong black panther on turn five deadly for sure but you only win one lane you they need the turn six and same thing goes for the gambit and uh wong combo is that if it's not turn six then they can't actually fully do their full destruction of the board so it's something to keep in mind for sure juggernaut because he ting he goes very well with storm uh you can kind of shut stuff down pretty easily spider-man he goes very well with either he goes well with rescue extremely well and he can also help kind of take possession of a board that maybe isn't very contented or you can just completely shut off your opponent from playing the game in some instances jessica jones obviously this deck is behind her rescue black panther captain marvel is very good to team up with rescue because it gives you a six that can kind of go anywhere uh and dr doom because he's a generic six that gives you two doom bots who are five power very good <laughs> there's no denying how good that is all right so let's go jump in it was a big explanation, but I figured I had to explain it because, yeah, this, is, this isn't really a deck. <laughs> it's a deck that's actively fighting itself to see which is better, Jessica Jones or Spider-Man. And we're starting off with a terrible location. 
Antillian is maybe the, the, my most hated location because it really hurts decks like mine that are not very turn heavy in the beginning. It can absolutely just be devastating. So we'll see how this goes. This guy's thinking him, so he probably actually has a play that he could probably do. But he's choosing whether or not to do it, or maybe he's AFK. Who knows? But this uh, this hand isn't uh, isn't too bad. It's okay. In theory, you could use Jessica Jones to kind of bait out maybe your opponent going for Jessica. Ooh, yeah, he was heavy debating. Okay. Wow. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to use Scorpion. So I can at least give his cards. If it's Deadpool, that Deadpool is basically dead unless he plays it with Nova. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's really good if I still have Sp If I can get Spider-Man back, that location's extremely good with mine. Because it will clear out the board, and then it will just let me have whatever is in Strange, Strange Academy for free, basically. Alright, let's see what you got now. Alright, we're basically returning. Ooh, he used his Storm. Alright, fair enough. Let's hope we can get back Jessica Jones in the hand. But there we go. Ironheart isn't ideal, but what can we do in that situation? Ah, oh, this is actually pretty funny. So I'm going to use Juggernaut and see if I can take this board from him. The funny thing is, is if he uses Juggernaut, then my Juggernaut does nothing. But if I can hope for the best, he can land in Liguela or something. Uh, he probably has... If I had to assume... I assume this is a destroyer deck? I don't know. But he retreated. So that's a victory for the Allies of Justice. Let's go. Played none of the cards. Antillian is a, is a shitty card. <laughs> it really... If there were locations that are specifically like, I just don't like it because it force it hurts a specific type of deck, it's one of them. There's no like fun when Antillian is revealed. This one's fun though. Alright, we're going against Lone. We've got Okaye, we have Iron Hearts. Oh man, this is, this is just... It ain't happening, Captain. Uh, I'll go here and hope that this isn't like some horrifying location. There's a lot of death going on here. To the point where it's probably afraid for any of us to play. The good thing is is that I can actually use Captain Marvel to kind of maybe sneak in a way to win. But we'll see. He's gonna steal one of my cards. Hopefully it's not a good one. Throw a card from the bottom of the deck. Oh, thank god he used it before Kaye. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> This is actively terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Let's go. The good thing is I can use it with Iron Heart if I'm lucky. But we'll see. I can at least use my Rescue plus Captain Marvel um, ability. And I don't care if Nakia dies. So I'm going to play her in Murder Worlds where she can get murdered. It's okay, Nakia. Opponent thinking hard, unsure of what to do. He's gonna play in the Dark Dimension. Now the Dark Dimension can actually be super useful if you're running a very specific type of deck, so uh, pray to God he's not running one of them decks. Okay. I feel like... no. Stick to the plan, I'm gonna go rescue. This is a case of going rescue or Jessica Jones, either going Storm in the middle or going Jessica, but I'm gonna go with this. Wow, what are the chances of that happening? <laughs> Alright. Storm? What are the chances? Is that my Spider-Man? Better not be my fucking Spider-Man. It's not. There goes Warrior Falls. Oh, this is 100% a destroyer deck. Uh, they don't go here. I think I still win this. Yes, I think I win this, but we'll see. Ooh. Oh, the one card combo. Are you kidding me? I fucking hate the leader so much. He can't move anywhere. He can't go anywhere, so. Oh, that's hilarious. If he had flipped first. Oh, I hate the leader so much. 
fine, we'll go. Here's the problem with the leader, which I've said multiple times. There's no way to tell if anyone's playing the leader. He's the most generic piece of shit card in the entire game. So you just kind of have to pray and hope that they don't have the leader. If it, were, if it were me, I would make the leader a negative one. Six turn. Actively hurt. Make him actively useless. I hate him so much. That or make all the copies he gets zero attack or something. That's enough molding for now, though. Let's get back into the game. Ooh, one drop. I don't have a single one drop in the, my entire deck. So, perfect. And I assume in that's his only one drop. Oh, this guy actually runs multiple one drops. Well, there you go. They all get minus one in his hand now. The raft. That's not good. I'm gonna go here, because I'm gonna assume that he's gonna play in the raft. And we'll see what happens. I was right. Oh, but it was in the opposite way. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I'm going to go... I also do realize in that last game, if I had gone Jessica, it would have been a completely different story. This is insanity. Okay, no, I'm not going to put Jessica where Sunspot is, because he can just easily get it back with Sunspot. So here's what I'm going to do. Jessica Jones here. He's going to get Doombot. That's perfectly fine with me. Because if we both Doom, then it doesn't matter. Because it's a it's it's a negative. So we both... it Basically, this turn determines who wins. Because either he goes... Tries to give some spot some health, or he goes for the turn 6 Doom play. This is why White Queen maybe isn't as good <laughs> as some people think. Because it's like, well... You know your opponent's turn six, that's the best you can kind of hope for. Ooh. Let me see, is that enough? Get him into a four. Uh, let's see, assuming that he's gonna go there. Mm. Let me see, plus five, that's nine. Eleven. Yeah. I'm going to have to accept defeat on this one. Yeah, there's just no way to win that one, unfortunately. Because he knows. Damn it! What were the chances of the stupid dinosaur of all things showing up? I'm going to have to accept defeat on that one. It's funny that now that I'm actually going to record the deck, this is when the deck starts losing. This is when I'm going to start naming it, Why is the deck losing? Alright, this is pretty nice. So here's what's going to happen. Captain. That's fine. He's going to play a bunch of cards in Gamma Lab, and then I'm going to simply uh, give him all minus. Sure, I'll go Scorpion here just to really incentivize him playing in Gamma Lab. Really nothing. <gasps> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky man. I bet he's going to play that ninja in Gamma Lab. Why wouldn't you? It's, it would be such a good idea. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. Oh, I'd be so devastated if you did it. Go ahead, do it. Put that minus three card down right in Gamma Lab. I am the Green Goblin speaking into your ear. You know you want to put that ninja there. Yes! <laughs> uh, yeah, so no, it's not going to be very helpful now, is it? Alright, so I'm going to Spider-Man here. Unfortunately, I can't do the opposite way because Rescue got hit. But we'll do it here, it's perfectly fine. Neighborhood here. And depending on how much he discards, not enough. So I get the draw two. Perfect. Okay. Let's see, How which way do I want to go here? I think I want to go this way. He's obviously going to have... Yeah, it's an Apocalypse deck, sure. Okay. Uh, next we shall... Probably Marvel. Though there's no real reason to. I think we win this one. He'd have to discard a lot of cards. Yeah.
yeah, we win this one. Okay. It's like it's gonna depend on some stuff, but I'm pretty sure we win this one. Yeah, that's not enough. Victory! Boom, and we even got very unlucky with Iceman. I forgot to mention, Iceman completely ruins a lot of decks. I would probably run Iceman. Because I think Iceman is, like, what Baron Mordo wants to be. Because just giving a plus one cost to a card in hand is pretty annoying. Baron Mordo, even though, in theory, he has a better effect because he gives a gives turns the cost to six. But what if they have death, and they draw death? <laughs> then they just made that card better. It's such a stupid outlier, but it's something to think about. It's happened once, and it happened to me. Alright. Let's go with this. There's no... Oh, okay. If he destroys Deadpool, then he'll be back to a one. But it's fine. But unfortunately, I missed that one. It's cool. I can put this here. Really? He's gonna wait till the final turn or something? It's very interesting. Okay. There you go here. I don't care if I lose it here. It's fine. Uh, Spider-Man, lock the board. Would be a good idea to do Captain Marvel, just to give her the plus two, but... I think it's better just to completely cut him off from Stark Tower. Mm-hmm. <gasps> okay, we get an extra turn, let's go. That works for me. Okay, we can't really play anything there. That's fine with me. Play her there. We'll see what this guy has for this turn. It's a very interesting move to go here. I assume this guy's a destroyer deck, probably. Oh, there's death. Hello, death. And yeah, okay. Now, assuming he doesn't play an insanely huge card, because I don't think he has the ability to. I think the Deadpool is only like, what? Four? Oh, you could play the other one, though. Damn. Might lose this one if he has who I think he's thinking of. That's fine. Let's see you do your thing. You can't play him over, uh, over here. He has to play him over here. So I don't know if that's enough, because he's going to get 12... He's at six. Shang-Chi, that's kind of annoying, but it's fine. Oh, we're gonna be off by one power. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I gotta love Captain Marvel and her ability. Let's go, thumbs up. Great fight. Next one. Wasn't 100% sure I was going to be able to win that one, but hey. Worked out. Alright, I'm going to go for the last one here. And hopefully we can end this off with a win. So yeah, I do think the deck um, is very fun to play. It is a very interesting thought experiment about which one is better. It does result in you... God, you stupid fucking rock. Alright. Please don't be another rock. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Now I have an army of plus one rocks. Let's go. I could actually use them with Iron Heart if I was thinking ahead, but I was so blinded in my anger. I didn't think. Three. When a card moves here, destroy it. Uh, this is very annoying, but we're going to have to do it this way. Ah, uh, no, it's better just not to play her at all. Alright. Yeah, baby! The plus one rock. Let's go. I'm gonna go rescue. We do have Doom, which basically means we win the middle, unless there's some really funky stuff going on. Lockjaw. Oh, Lockjaw with the rock. Alright, it's fine. 
we're gonna go here because obviously I could shut him down from going lockjaw. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Uh, I could shut him down here. And then he wouldn't be able to play any cards there. Put a rock here. Sure, let's go for it. He could easily brick by just getting a bunch of rocks. And same thing goes for this ability here. He could just get a rock. He's gonna get a rock. Another rock, another rock, another rock, another rock. Oh. Bastard. Can't play anything there. Go to hell. Final turn. What can he do? He's got basically one play. If it's Odin, I lose. No! Literally the one card in the hand that could have saved him. Wait. I win! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! God, gotta love Lockjaw and that ability where you don't get to keep the good card. Instead, here you go. No Odin for you. You get the Iceman. <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. Alright, let's go. That's a good one to end it on. So that's the end of the video, everyone. Till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it may be. Peace out. Goodbye.